What is going on guys? Spider with the Go 2 Gamers and I'm playing some Counter-Strike Global Offense. I know I played some of this before when the beta first came out but I know people who are actually interested in the game um, the beta is supposed to come out tomorrow for everyone who pre-orders it so I'm playing it again to show people to see if they want to pre-order it and buy the game and I'm showing you around the menu because they changed it a little bit they changed the background person every time you get like you exit it becomes a new person which is pretty cool so basically what they changed about Counter-Strike is you can find a game and you'll get thrown into a game right away instead of doing it the old way where uh, this would come up and you'd like go in that way so that's a cool feature if you just want to jump into a game real quick um, they still have favorites and history and all that stuff I prefer this way so I can see how many people are in the game and what map they are on and all that stuff. So yeah, this is still the beta version, so it's not completely uh, fixed. They still have a little minor patches that they probably fixed already that they haven't updated the beta with. So we're going to uh, play um, a gun game. Because that's the fastest way to show you gameplay and I might play a regular classic game but I don't know if you guys want to see me when I die like I have to wait for everyone to uh, to die and then spawn so yeah so we're just gonna jump into a quick gun game mode hopefully the game is not too far in let's see no highest person has four kills gun game they designed this game around small maps oh crap I just fell off um, I was playing this earlier, it's, I should turn down the volume, I think, yeah, it's going to overpower my voice. Hold on, let me right here, options, audio, and let's turn down the volume. Alright, there we go. Alright, here we go. They have a lot of different guns, they said... They, they have a bunch of guns in the beta and they said there's going to be a lot more. That's like, they said that the guns in the beta wasn't even like half of the guns that they're going to have. And there's a lot of guns in the beta, so I have no idea how many guns are actually going to be on the full roster. Dang, man. I'm doing terrible, man. I want to show you guys a good gameplay. <laughs> but people are camping right here. The things I don't like about this game that they changed too much for me, if you play from Source to, um... To this version, they got rid of sprays, which I love sprays because like you get to spray the person you killed and troll them, and I just kill myself like a noob. And they got rid of silencers. There hasn't been any silencers in the beta. Hopefully, they bring it back in the full retail version because silencers actually make the gun more accurate. And I don't know. Every time there's a silencer on a gun, I usually use it, except if, unless, unless the, bleh, except the UMP. Wow, how could I not kill that guy? Gun game, when you first start out, you got crappy guns, so that's why, and then if someone else has a better gun than you, you're pretty much screwed, and I joined the game late, so, yeah. The guns are very small, in my opinion, like the MP5, look how small it is. It looks like it could fit in one hand. There's like no need for that the person to be holding it with two hands, but whatever. Oh, this is the MP7, that's why. It looks like the MP5 to me. Oops, and then we got the the PP. All these guns will look familiar to you if you uh, play Call of Duty World of War. Uh, Call of Duty World of War. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. They have a lot of similar guns. UMP is actually useful in this game now. It used to suck in, uh, in all the other counter strikes so yeah I'm, I actually like the UMP in this game now man there's someone talking in my game if you just heard that dang man yeah I haven't played uh, counter strike since source like and I'm really rusty I've been playing counter strike a lot lately um, I've been just Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. I do not like how the shotgun looks. It looks crappy to me. They could have done a lot better with this shotgun. It looks like something you would use in Fallout, like the first gun you get in Fallout. 
I do not like how it looks. <laughs> so yeah, if you're interested in this game, you can pre-order right now and you save like a dollar forty or something like that. If you pre-order it on Steam, and if you pre-order on Steam, you'll be in the beta right away. It starts today where they uh, allow you to uh, download the beta so you can play it while you wait for the game to come out on August 21st. That's pretty cool. Ah, man, I'm sucking, man. This is just a gameplay to show you guys what the game is like if you want to purchase it. It's not for me to show you an amazing 49 and 7 gameplay where I beast on it. It's kind of game mode. You die every two seconds. That was a major life spike. Dang. Like, there's someone speaking a different language. This is actually a shotgun. But it looks like a specter. I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah, these maps are so small, they're just so fast paced, you die in like two seconds. Look at that, holy crackers. See, I'm gonna be playing um, a regular game mode after this. Yeah. Come on, man. A shotgun versus a uh, Tech 9, and they win. So, the Galil, the Galil looks super different from Source. It doesn't even look like a glue. It looks kind of like a M4, in my opinion. The weapons change. They look more futuristic type feel. Um, the graphics are better. It reminds me of a, like a Team Fortress 2 type layout in the menu, like the new Team Fortress 2 type layout. But the but the graphics don't look like Team Fortress 2. They look like like an updated version of Source. Oh my god, man. I know I suck. It's cool. It's cool. You can say I suck. I don't care. I need to get back in the groove. I used to do scrims on this. I used to be really good at this game, but once you put once you play Source to this, it's a lot different. It does not feel the same at all. So I have to get used to it. <laughs> this game is almost over. Someone's about to win. I think all they need is a, a knife and they win. Man, it's lagging. Yep. And I'm the one who got the knife on because of the lag. Alright, anyways, that is Gun Game. And we have a foreign guy speaking something they don't know. So if you know what he said, you can let everyone know. Alright. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in this game, it's on Steam right now. 13.49 to pre-order or you can wait till it comes out and it's like $15. It comes out on PS3, Xbox, and PC, so if if you have any of those, you can play this. This is for the PC. So yeah. All right, peace out. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv.